The oil and gas industry is truly a technical industry. My passion is taking the technical content and the technical story of industry and telling the important stories within it. My name is Sarah Willett. I'm the Director of Communications and Public Affairs for an oil and gas services company serving the leading oil and gas producers in the U.S. Gulf of Mexico. I grew up in the Midwest in a very small town. The Midwest is not energy centric. When I think back to the people uh, that I grew up with, that's who I think of when I'm telling this story. I often challenge my staff and the people I work with and the people I'm training to speak by asking them, what would Joe in Wisconsin think about what you're saying? Would he understand it? And could he relate to it? And if he can't, then we need to change it. If I say in a brochure, written piece of communication, that the piece of equipment we're moving to respond to an emergency is 400 tons, you know that's big, but you don't know how big that is. So if I say we're moving a 400 ton piece of equipment, that is equivalent to the weight of 68 elephants, immediately you can visualize what that is. You might not know how heavy an elephant is, but you know 68 of them is massive. And that suddenly allows people to understand maybe why it's taking so long, uh, why it's a complex process, why we can't just fix it overnight. It answers a lot of questions when you really can break down those concepts in a way that people can understand and relate to. If done well and utilizing an integrated approach, corporate communications as a function broadly moves markets. It shapes reputations, it shapes perceptions, it drives consumer behavior. So while it's important everywhere, it's essential in businesses that are highly technical because not everybody speaks in that technical voice. It's important in oil and gas if we want to make progress as communicators and storytellers that we sit down and really think about the story that we're trying to tell. I think that oftentimes as communicators we can miss that this is a great story. Reputation and corporate identity, if created in a way that is intentional and truly curated, should evoke a feeling. It's not something passive. Corporate identity is very active. It's dynamic, it's changing. Uh, your reputation is earned. The feeling that uh, people have when they see your brand, uh, when they remember your brand, when they recall your story, that's important. And I'm looking to be very specific about the feelings that I'm creating with my brand. I think that Albert Einstein truly said it best. If you can't say it simply, you don't understand it well enough. And I think that that's an important principle in communications and telling stories. The true indelible mark that I hope I have left on my organization is providing the foundation for all the stories that they have to tell today, tomorrow, and into the future. And that foundation is a strong corporate identity. It's all of the visual elements, but it's also how we say it. I know that while I have written a very comprehensive corporate storyline that resonates today, things are going to shift and change in the organization over time. There's gonna be new technology and a new story to tell, but the corporate identity and brand voice is defined. The corporate identity that I have worked to develop with OWDT over the last several years was done so in a painstaking process. And what is so important to me about OWDT as a partner is that they care equally about the technical parts of the kerning and leading of the specific topography or font that we are choosing, but equally they care about the story that we are trying to tell and how we are trying to tell it. 
and they take that into consideration when building out that corporate identity. As a result of understanding the technical space that I'm communicating about, Kyle and his team helped me to pick specific modern font that's airy and has space and is easy to read so that a reader can skim through that without having to pause or think too hard about the actual structure of what they're looking at. He also, um, Kyle also focused heavily on abundant white space in our branding. White space is so important and I think it's something that we as creatives and communicators don't talk about. And I think that it's something that nobody else considers, but when it's not there, the content, no matter what it is, becomes overwhelming. The brand consumer needs that space to be able to digest and understand the content. So abundant white space was really key. Also key to our corporate identity is iconography. Iconography was another important element when we were establishing corporate identity for me. Pictures link to understanding. So if you can place simple icons and pictures around the story that you're speaking about, it helps people to form connections. Those connections lead to a deeper understanding and a deeper understanding helps to build the corporate identity, which is the reputation of the company. That reputation and corporate identity, if created in a way that is intentional and truly curated, should evoke a feeling. It's not something passive. Corporate identity is very active. It's dynamic, it's changing. Uh, your reputation is earned. The feeling that uh, people have when they see your brand, uh, when they remember your brand, when they recall your story, that's important. And I'm looking to be very specific about the feelings that I'm creating with my brand. And OWDT has been an essential ally and partner in understanding the importance of that.